and welcome back. I am Tetris Vinic and I'm here for another video as well today on the third day of the bet. We are having not just special guests as you can see, but we're also having a very different topic. This topic many of you probably ask yourself maybe once or twice, or maybe you solve someone that question. Can video games be useful besides the fun factor? Or better yet, can video games teach? Well, first we need to see what teaching is, right? Exactly how you how can you teach someone? Well, there are two main ways, actually, as I can say, it's more for a um, storytelling standpoint. As many video games, if they're going to try to teach you something, they're going to try to do it via, via the story, by the story. So there are two main ways. The indirect ways, which is not exactly focusing or making it obvious that that's what you want the players to learn or make or do. But that's a good chunk of the game or you represent. A great way is Minecraft. A great game for to have an example is Minecraft. It is an indirect way to say be creative. Though not very indirect, it's still the game doesn't tell you, oh be creative, or there's not a main plot story of be creative. You can just live a normal uncreative uncreativity uncreative um game of Minecraft. You can not build any fancy houses of your imagination. You cannot make any rest on um, engineering and you can still play Minecraft. So it's not like you need to do this. But of course experience is generally focused focused and also enhanced with you know the creativity. And now as for a direct example, I don't have many, but I can say something very obvious like flight simulators. Flight simulators want you to learn something really obvious, which is flying. Um, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is a great example of this, one of the most recent um, games of simulator games um, out there, that is why 2020. Really beautiful graphics. I still haven't played myself. I found some persons like the Express Gaming. He was a real, he's a real pilot for pilots in Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator, which is really cool. But that's getting off topic. Um, that would be in a, a direct way. And so, what I think works both the, the indirect way has the benefit where people can make it more personal. So in Minecraft, you can be creative in any set of ways. And you can be creative in any different way. So it's not just being creative as uh, like uh, red, redstone engineering or just in decoration. It can be many at the same time. And games like, but there's a problem. It just doesn't mean the player can do this. That's why a lot of people just play Minecraft in an old way as no creativity whatsoever. It's not necessary. Maybe, I think, make the experience blend, but everyone's with the cup of tea. Um, and there's the direct way, who has a really good benefit of the player won't deviate from this, since it's required. For example, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you need to know a little bit, even if it's just a tiny amount of flight, to play the game because if you don't you won't appreciate the game because you won't be able to play the game um, even the most basic and if you want to go even harder with the hardest difficulties then you will have a blast because you will basically be able to fly a real um, a real um, plane in the Microsoft in the simulators. The problem is that if it won't attract the main public because 
there's someone who doesn't want to do this so oh maybe it's interesting a game which has more open possibilities then it won't be popular and it won't bring the money neither the audience to make your game work so okay so that's the indirect way now what's a good thing to be to have um there's also what you can teach actually in those games um what you can teach are basically anything i think but it can range from morals to some set of soft skill soft skills or maybe something hard like something that may help the person or may train the person in real life like a flight simulator and as you can see i'm really interested in having a flight simulator but for example um microsoft flight simulator um you you will actually i saw a review of the game the person took a real pdf uh on how to flight the real um plane i don't know plane, um and it worked in the flight simulator so it's really cool and you can toy with something that you may not be able to because of budgetary constraints, age constraints, like even if I had the money and spoilers, I don't, to have a plane, I couldn't pilot it because I'm too young. And maybe you know there's a kid who fight um a plane with seven, but but still. I won't like I not focus on flying. So I won't dedicate my life to flying. As such, I want to fly until I have a way to fly or you know the age to fly. And until then, unless I just like, oh, I can't do this and wait, I can play fight simulators, which help a bunch. Um yeah, that that's, that would be the soft the hard skills. That's something that can be maybe applied to real life. All of them should be applied to real life, but I mean more like as knowledge. And there's the soft skills like creativity, leadership, which games can teach not being the main focus. So maybe in games like, let's say Fallout, the games have a lot of talking. So maybe you will be able to talk in real life as more of a leader. I really don't know how. I know the four was a really bad in this situation, but like um, games who have great dialogue can teach you how great dialogue works. Another way is by observing, the person observing. So, for example, I play in War Thunder. It's really cool. There's a lot of technical side, so you may need to understand how the tank shells work, the millimeters, and the, the sizes. Like, you need to understand that a catch, you can be kept. Um, tank round will be able to penetrate um, angle armor better because well, so I now you understand physics behind it because the top, like the cover on the bud, which is made from a, the bud, not from the round, which is made from a softer material, will deform and make the velocity transfer to the to the angle so it will be have a better angle that's just a random example i just used or how hash or mesh heads work oh you see what work that i have um you can learn from this and you can also learn for example i don't i don't have a lot of interest in cars but with art that i i saw and it's logic but i discovered a logic that when you're driving backwards and you want to turn right your vehicle will turn left so every time you are backing off somewhere uh, with the, the driving back when you turn right your vehicle will turn left as considering your um, your vision your perception so what I think can games teach definitely I think actually not just that but teaching itself will be the future with games. So I think if you search gamification, you will pretty understand that the way games make them so addictive to play can also be made 
for wanting to become addicted, but not the person needing to be addicted themselves or be thirsty for knowledge themselves. So it was a really neat plus. I think gaming has a lot of uh, future. Not the question like just gaming itself or fun, just pure fun, but also a lot of how to teach kids and adults by this matter. Soft skills, hard skills, and generally things you want to have as a human being and as an employer in, a, in any, anywhere or as a friend. So yeah, I think games can and will and are and are being used to or will and slash being used as teaching. And I think the future really is like games. Maybe not the oh, um, you know, general sense, but basically yes, movie games. So I think it will be a really fun way. And actually, I quite like the way games try to make learning fun. There are brief fails, there were it fails, but if you find a mini round of not being irritating or talking down to an audience audience, but still give them a lesson by indirect or direct means will definitely be the future of gaming slash education. So that's my video for today. Kind of a different meaning. Sorry if I'm, my voice is kind of low energy. I I haven't slept. I mean, it's not that I haven't slept. I just haven't slept well. Because today I had great news for me. I got accepted at a really good school. Um, I won't say the name for now. But it's a really good school. One of the best schools, I would say, in Brazil. With a really, in Brazil, where I live. With a really different way of seeing how teaching works. Um, not quite gamification, but something really close. Can be gamification or in games you have an objective. In schools we don't have an objective. This school has an objective and is an actual objective around you. So I got the scholarship, very great. Um and I need to go with train to go there. Well, like it's really early in the morning. It's not the school itself, just because I live far away from the school, it takes one and a half hours to get there, so I wake up four and a half a.m. The problem is I slept midnight, so I'm kind of sleepy. But the bed stills on, so if I'm sleepy, if I'm not sleepy, if I die, if I have a bullet wound, I don't know where this came from, but I will still make the bed. So it was great to see you and check out the rest of the playlist for different flavors as from my voice. And also check out the rest of the videos in English because I think there's a great topics. I know it's kind of loose as you can see, um, but maybe it can be turned in a scripted, more mainstream, better yet, more organized video as to discuss the topic even further. But anyway, let's wrap up my short video. I hope you like it. If you like it, subscribe. Um, give a like, make a comment as what topics you think is good to say next, and that's pretty much it. See ya.